Hey y'all, this is Ishmael and Jessica back at it for another adventure. This time we are in San Marcos, Texas. This is way more than a college town, so get ready for a lot of water and so much excitement. We are experiencing Wonderworld Cave. This place has multiple things. Of course, they have the cave where you're actually walking along the Vacona spot line. This is a dry cave, so a lot of caves in Texas you're not allowed to touch for keeping them preserved, but this one you're actually allowed to get to hear a lot of cool stories, do a little bit of exploring, and one thing that's really fun is just all the colored lights they have. But once you finish that, you also want to make sure that you try the Anti-Gravity House. It is a mixture of optical illusions, plus a little bit of slantedness, and the way that you are just so confused as you're walking, it's insane. Just finished up at Middleton Brewery. Popcorn, absolute must. But they also have a large selection of house brewed beers. They have micheladas, they have wine if you're not sure about what you want. And then it's also super pet friendly so you can bring your dog and enjoy the little dog park that they have. We walked right across from Middleton to Silo Glassworks and I love a good piece of art. They have over 30 artists represented here all around Texas and they even have classes so that you can try fusing glass yourself. Rough House Brewing has some of the best Tex-Mex snacks as well as a variety of sandwiches, tacos, and barbecue on Thursdays and Fridays. Of course, they have an excellent beer selection including their own beer that they brew in a cave. Hiking time, we are here at Purgatory Creek Nature Preserve and we're looking for the grotto, or Jessica likes to call it the cave. There's so, yeah. An overlook as well. Oh, there's so an overlook. A good view of San Marcos. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, we're gonna look for a great overlook of a San Marcos and looking for this grotto, aka cave. This is a 2.8 mile hike and yeah, we came unprepared, but we got water, we got our clothes on, we got our shoes on. Let's do it. So the Grotto Trail actually ended up being much further than we thought just because um, the, it's like it gets complicated when you get close. You get to the overlook and it's very close, but you have to go do another little hike past the overlook to get uh, down there to the grotto. So yeah, it was confusing because the maps, oh, there were no trail heads to show you like, you know, names and all of that. So just use all trails is what we used and yeah, we get to the spot. It's pretty great honestly i was not expecting it to be that way i keep looking down because it is uh pretty muddy and rocky but yeah it's a fun hike you gotta do when you're here in san marcos dos gatos offers 30 different flavors of delicious texas kolaches and czech pastries when you visit i strongly recommend their cinnamon loaf they sell out fairly quickly so make sure to get there early i really like this park like maybe it's a little bit more of a hidden gem but you have the water it's really clear there's shade there's sun i feel like it's more of an underrated park where you're gonna get a lot more peace and this is at i think thompson island the signs are a little bit confusing should be stokes parks here as well we came looking for the waterfall that came from the dam but it's not flowing right now but this is definitely still a really peaceful area Lions Club Tube Rental offers a one hour float down the San Marcos River with all day access to tubes, a shuttle service, and the opportunity to explore a little island before you reach Rio Vista Park. Another great entry point to the San Marcos River is Rio Vista Park where you can kayak, swim, or shoot down the three river rapids on an inner tube. This Mexican restaurant is considered to have the best margaritas in Hayes County. We were amazed by the Talk About Love, a heart-shaped tray of 24 tacos with the meat of your choice. We also ordered their filled concha for dessert and it was amazing.
Flying Armadillo is a unique 18-hole mini disc golf course with themed sculptures at each hole that lasts you hours for just five to ten dollars a person. This place is really cool. If you haven't played disc golf, I really don't think I've had much experience with it. But all the sculptures makes it so fun. It's like you're doing mini golf, but with this piece. But I can't throw straight, so we'll see how this goes. Hey Jessica, you are on a mission. This is the Alamo. It is under siege and I need you to liberate it. I wish I was surfing, I would have done that better. <laughs> <laughs> oh! oh! There it is! Yeah! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Can you see? I can't even hear you. Hayes Country Barbecue is pretty incredible. They have so many meat options. We came on a Saturday because that's when they do the beef ribs, which is one of my top favorites. So yeah, we got a little sneak peek of the back. I got to hold a brisket right in my hand and just see how the pit masters make their craft. Yeah, we sat down, grabbed some drink, lots of side, tomatoes, avocados, and then of course the mac and cheese, the beans and whatnot, and the spread of meat, pretty incredible. Next is Central Texas Swing. Uh, we're literally going up to a hangar and seeing some vintage historic planes. Let's do it. At the commemorative Air Force Central Texas Wing, you'll learn all about different World War II planes and even experience a realistic C-47 simulation that mimics the feeling of flying. You can even schedule a flight in one of their aircrafts. Whether you're celebrating a special occasion or simply looking for an unforgettable experience, Leading Edge Helicopter Tour promises stunning views of San Marcos and beyond. The tours start as low as $20 and they can even go as far as Canyon Lake. North Street Curry offers Indian Tex-Mex fusion dishes with so many amazing flavors. We started off with the curry queso, a mix of Texas queso with curry spices, followed by their forbidden taco filled with fried chicken tossed in a chili wing sauce, as well as their sag paneer, a spinach dish with fried paneer cheese, and their seasonal lassi drinks.
It is early in the morning, roughly six, no, no, not six. We had to wake up around six to get ready for this. This is 8 a.m. We're here at Spring Lake with the snorkel program at the Meadow Center. So I am super excited for this. Got my wetsuit on and uh, yeah, we're walking over to the spot to get in this water, snorkel and see some beautiful wildlife here. Cool. Oh, it was pretty cool. Like, it's much more clear than you can get from on top of the water. So when you're under there, it's pretty insane how much you can see. How it blue is. was it? Because it looks so blue from the top. I wouldn't say it's blue. I'll just say it's clear. I think it's a little bit more green, but it's a clear green is what I can... But it's very... It's just see-through, really. Like, you can see to the bottom. And there were so many pretty turtles with, like, green necks. And the snapping turtles with the long tails. I'm like, I'm staying away from y'all. And then I saw this big, like, big... I don't know how big, you know, the line, but it was about this big, the fish. And that one was even more colorful. Then when I was coming out of here like Aquaman, there was uh, these little fish, like he, he, he's just stood there, like I was so close, I got to him. And he's like, I'm out. Basically, that was fun. Palmer's Restaurant Bar and Courtyard is a historic restaurant with the cutest courtyard for your next brunch date. They have a very impressive drink menu with a selection of mocktails including their virgin hibiscus mexitini and their lilosa, which is a mimosa made with grapefruit. They both paired very well with our San Antonio Benedict pork tamales and Texas style French toast. This beloved local restaurant has been serving up delicious meals and delectable baked goods for decades in the center of downtown San Marcos. Gil's Broiler is the go-to spot for huge flame-grilled burgers and a variety of sandwiches, salads, and sides. Zellick serves everything from craft beers and cocktails with pub-style fare like burgers, fries, and flavorful appetizers that pair perfectly with your drink of choice. We are staying at the Great Hall of the Downtown Abbey and wow, what a stunning place. Multiple bedrooms, just such a unique place because it is actually registered as a historic place. It is an old church and just coming inside you immediately see there's like this upstairs loft that you get to overlook at, everything about it. Really you'll just have to see for yourself to see what a gem this place is. might be my favorite I think the curtains are so beautiful there's so many fun colors coming on here and then having this little area to sit and read a book and look out it just feels so romantic there's also a wonderful bedroom downstairs a second one that has a nice big bed and then again all of that open light so everything about here just is very spacious about this place is so cute. I mean, I am a huge fan of this kitchen. It is big, it looks out into the living room, and well, the most important part, it is pink. Well, these tacos might be small, but they're quite mighty. There are two drive throughs and then we are going to the line right here where you have the, I don't know what it's called, like the walk-up booth or whatever. And it's just so popular, which I know that means it's gonna be good. I mean, this place is a San Marcos staple. Oh my gosh, that is really That's cool. the one I'm so excited wow. to try. This is so cool. We went to the front and then they knew we were new. Must have been obvious because the people here are loyalists. And so they gave us a few extra tacos. They didn't even know who we were. Um, and I was really eyeing the carne guisada, but I wasn't sure just because I like my bacon, egg, and cheese for breakfast, and I'm so excited. Carne guisada just always, everyone makes it so different. Mm -hmm. Good flavor, the meat is nice and tender. There's cheese, which I'm not usually as used to, but I really enjoy. And then of course the tortillas are so good.
And right here, Jessica's got these beautiful shrimp tacos, which of course I'm gonna take the first bite. Let's drizzle some salsa, green lime salsa on top. A little bit, of, no, I don't want the cream, I'm gonna just have it is. Oh, this is a crispy taco. So it's a crispy taco with this grilled shrimp, uh, fresh uh, cheese and uh, some fresh avocados. Ending our day with a fun little activity, Paddle San Marcos, we're doing glow in the dark kayaks. Yeah, I mean, the water here is so clear, so yes. just getting to see how it's actually going to be glowing is gonna be a whole new experience than even tubing during the day. So I've learned that I am a passenger princess, an airport princess, and now I am a paddle princess. We just saw a beaver. No, so, so we saw a possum first, which you know, like possum. Then we saw a beaver. And then when we saw the beaver, we saw a raccoon. Oh my gosh. Like, I don't, I've never seen a beaver before in the wild. I'm in, I gotta say, I'm enjoying this party on the water. I have my disco boat going, on, disco kayak going on, lights everywhere, animals coming in, everybody's invited. We don't discriminate here, baby. And that's a wrap. So next day, we should follow and subscribe at Michael Adventures for more Texas adventures. Yeah.